we need to talk about the future of content creation. As a new content creator and AI enthusiast, I've never been more intrigued yet uncertain about the future of content creation, artists, and Hollywood in general. In the last few weeks alone, entire episodes of South Park have been created with AI, and AI Instagram influencers have landed massive brand deals. Now, there's this a YouTube channel that is 100% AI generated. And I bet you're asking, can you even tell? And if so, for how much longer? And here's the million dollar question. How do they do it? I'm gonna answer all of these questions and more in this video. Let's go. Today, we're talking about Jordi Van Den. Maybe you know him better as Quebblecop. He has a huge channel on YouTube, boasting more than 15 million subscribers, over 5,000 videos. And that's the result of years of nonstop hard work. From video game let's plays to challenges and reaction videos, a ton of his videos have raked in more than 10 million views each. So yeah, He's a powerhouse. But in 2018, Quibble Cop joined the ranks of many YouTubers against a common foe, burnout. Being a YouTuber is a constant grind and has taken a toll on even the largest YouTubers like PewDiePie. Then in April 2021, Jordy launched a channel with a virtual YouTuber called Blue, which was powered in part by AI. Since then, Blue has gained over 775,000 subscribers, and each video is watched by tens of thousands and even hundreds of thousands of people. But that was only a hint of what was to come for Quibble Cop. Just last week, he relaunched his main channel, and it is 100% AI generated. Everything from the video ideas, to the script, to the editing, to his voice, it was all done with AI. So could you tell that that was fully done by AI? Do you even care? Obviously, he recreated himself as an avatar but he's not the first to do that. And you might wonder, is AI generated content against YouTube's terms of service? Well, it turns out it's not. As long as you're following all of their other content policy guidelines, you can monetize AI generated content, no problem. So why is he doing this? Is it for money? Is it to avoid future burnout? Does he actually believe that AI generated content is the future of content? Turns out it's all of the above. Jordy tweeted, AI influencers provide influencers with a healthier work-life balance. Switching off and retiring without your life's work ending is now possible. And I understand that. You put in years of work, create thousands of videos, and the second you take your foot off the gas, your views decline rapidly. And it's also not great to be the only one that can continue things. If the entire channel revolves around you, if you're not able to do it anymore, your channel's done. So he's created two videos so far, maybe more by the time I post this. And the videos are not racking up crazy amounts of views yet, but given how easy it is to produce them, he could be generating 10, 20 videos a day. And those numbers will add up quickly. And it's definitely getting people talking. Media outlets, other YouTubers like Penguins and Slogo, and of course, yours truly. And at the end of the day, really the only thing that matters is the quality of the content. Are people watching it? Are they engaged? And are they enjoying it? So if they can tell or if they can't tell, maybe it doesn't even matter. Jordy truly believes he can create compelling content using AI entirely. And only time will tell if he's right. And here's the kicker. Jordy isn't using AI only for his own channels. He's created a software stack that he is going to resell to anybody who wants to buy it. He's already received a ton of interest and is now working out the wrinkles to make sure that he can deliver great software at the right price. According to a poll that Jordy ran, most people want AI generated content labeled as such. I just talked about labeling AI generated content in my last video and I wholeheartedly agree with the poll. AI generated content should be labeled. But the real question is, how much of the video needs to be AI generated before it needs to be labeled as AI? MKBHD did a video a while ago talking about how phones take such good photos now and they're using AI at such an extreme amount that really, at what point is that not actually a photo of reality anymore? So this is kind of the same thing. As reality and AI generated content start to blend together more and more, someone needs to actually come up with a metric to decide what needs to be labeled and what doesn't. And interestingly, Jordy is not the only one using AI. Lupe Fiasco, one of hip hop's greatest lyricists, has recently collaborated with AI to write a song. Check it out. I'm going to write a full song with a kind of predetermined 
narrative and kind of goal using text effects as the, as the driver. So it's almost like we're gonna be in dialogue. So what does this mean for the future of content creators? Do you think AI content is a good thing? The worlds of human generated content and AI generated content are smashing together. And sooner rather than later, we're not even gonna be able to tell the difference. Check out this video I made about that company that was able to create entire episodes of South Park using AI. If you liked this video, please consider giving me a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.